Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. So in my last video we we're doing the bull bar as you've seen and I said about the lights, they've finally arrived, but this video is not gonna be about the bull bar. Although I have started to sort of fit them in as you can probably see. We're not gonna worry about that in this video. This video we're doing the tray. So first things first for a tray, we need tray mounts. I whipped up these things here. Originally I had them on the chassis, on the edge of the chassis, um, and then I did some flex ups and I realized that the wheels came into contact and sort of came over top, just because they're so large, they came over top of the chassis and sort of flexed in and rubbed on these quite badly. So what I'm doing is putting them on the inside of the chassis, like this, and um, I'll finish off welding all that. Basically I just fold the mark tacking together so I have some mounts, because so we can get this deck sort of where it needs to be and start planning it. I may change these mounts in the future, don't know, we'll see how they go. Just just strength is sort of what I'm wondering. They are three mil though, chassis is three mil, so they're not much weaker than the chassis really. Uh, I might plate the inside, not sure. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'm just tacking these in. So that one's welded in, that one's welded in, that one's welded in. Now I'm just doing this one. So what I've decided to do is basically make a mount that looks like that one, but upside down and only half the size. And then the bar will basically go like on that and then it will overlap slightly, just to be able to put a beta weld through on that side so it overlaps a wee bit just for strength. But it'll sit like that and I think it'll look quite good and then I'll just be able to put a nut and bolt on the inside here and then possibly put like a side on it like this too, on the inside of both and then leave the end open just for a nut and bolt. But we'll see how we go. These mounts are gonna be more than enough to sort of build this tray. So I've cut this out. Um, it was, I did cut it out a wee bit longer, like to cut it, but I'm not doing my box that big. I'm probably gonna cut it like down here or something like that and basically put that up there and then I can kind of see how big of a rear box I want what it's going to look like with the rear box and length wise and just kind of judge on how long I want this tray to be and then work from there. Because I don't want heaps of overhang that's going to look silly and I also and like get hung up but I also don't want it way too short that it's just going to look funny as well. My personal preference but I do think most utes and especially chops there's always way too much overhang it just looks dumb. So I'm just chopping this bit of scrap box that I've got. Uh, this is 50 by 100 by three. It's not gonna be a permanent thing, but I just wanna chop it just to put between here and here. Just try and get the height right, and then I can sort of judge and measure up what I'm gonna do with the width and the length, because I'm more of a visual person than a measuring and drawing something up in CAD and stuff like that. I'd rather set it up, see what it looks like. Nah, that looks too long and stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing now. So I got this tray up to the height it's meant to go and honestly it looks kind of ridiculous because it is <laughs> really high. Like obviously it is going to sag down a lot. These springs have absolutely no weight on them. So it's just naturally going to be high. So I'm thinking about just ratcheting the diff down and just giving it like a little bit more weight just to bring it down just to sort of fix the illusion of how crazy high it looks because the back's tapering up like <laughs> real high. Plus there's no interior, it's getting roof rack, canopy and everything on it. So it, the whole thing's gonna drop. Just... Right guys, so this is a really sort of, to use it might not make a lot of sense, but to me it sort of does. So this is cardboard obviously, and this is gonna be sort of what the guards are gonna be like. So I want the front to be the same as the rear and it, like exactly the same as the rear. That's kind of the plan and like in line and in line. <laughs> it's quite hard to see because obviously cardboard's quite floppy, but like it's gonna, it's gonna come out slightly like that. Um, and then there'll probably be a slight, mm, don't know yet, there might be a slight flat on the edge there, just that drops down slightly, maybe. 
But I think it's made it look a lot better, sort of like this gap here is not as big and it's brought this forward and everything like that. And it sort of just looks more in proportion, even though it, the back is still higher than what it's going to be. Plus this massive hole through here, that's going to be filled in. There's going to be like a box and stuff under there, so that won't look so weird either. Alright, so I've been playing around with cardboard and I've sort of got a shape that I think will work well. So this will sort of go under the body like that, matching the rear. It'll be like yay wide. Um, this will come down and fold in. This will also come down and fold in. This will run on an angle like that and then come out like that. Which if you see my ball bar video, I'm sort of making an opposite to this. So this comes up like that um, to create that angle. So on the back it's in reverse, so it's coming out instead. And then it comes in like that on the sides too. And on the bottom. And then it will sort of have these, but not so deep and not so aggressive for the tail lights. That's kind of a rough idea. Um, this deck is also going to come out like that and then across, sort of like so. And it will create like a spoiler look here. And if I ever want to do sides, I still can because it's not got like, it's still flat and it's not like angled or anything like that. I picked up a sheet of 2mm steel, so this is 3mm, a lot of this is 3mm, um, I don't know if it's overkill or not, but like I wanted it to be strong and because of the length of it and stuff, I don't want it to bend and so on like that. Um, these mounts are obviously very temporary, they're not staying like this at all. Uh, I'm going to build mounts, I just sort of want to get the height and the shape and most of the deck to give it and then build mounts around that. Yeah, as I was saying, this is going to be three mil. Um, all this stuff's going to be two mil because it's more as visual. It's not strength, and the headboard is also going to be two mil. And the flares will be two mil, and this here is the top sheet. So this is three mil tree plate. Basically, going with two mil is sort of weighing up weight over strength. Areas that I'm doing the two mil doesn't really need the strength. It's more of a visual. Something like one mil or one and a half, like a body panel, is just wouldn't work. Basically what I'm going to do now is sort of use these templates, adjust them slightly just to make them a bit better, like I'm probably going to make this a bit wider so I have more room for the tail lights, stuff like that, and then trace these onto here and just fold things up. Right, so I redrew this area a little bit different, but it's pretty close to what it was. Um, that's marked out on the sheet, so I'm going to cut that out now. If I'm happy with the shape, I'll cut out the other side, but I don't want to cut the other side out yet just in case I fold it up and change my mind because I'm quite good at changing my mind as I go. So I've done quite a bit. I've done both sides. So I've folded this one and I've also folded this one. This here is going to come out. I'm just going to leave this in until I've built this back panel just to sort of square everything up and then I'm going to remove this and basically this is going to replace this if that makes sense. This welded on, I got this welded on and I do the center. I was going to cut them straight like this because you can see like it leans and leans but I'm actually wondering if to keep it like this and just make the center fit. I'll show you why. So I mentioned in the last one about this angling this way and the tray angling the other way. And then if you look at the center, this angles like that and angles like that and gives like a V sort of look. So I'm wondering if to do the opposite on the back, where well, the opposite would be that. So I'm going to need my trusty cardboard and I will make a cardboard fill-in panel. Might even cut it out where the num plate's going to go and see what it looks like and make my, my decision with cardboard because steel is a lot more expensive to waste than cardboard where I've already wasted enough steel off this truck already. So I've made this back panel in cardboard and sort of folded it up and made a wee template and I think I like it. Um, I've also cut where the non-plate goes and that'll sort of like be stepped back into it and this will sort of go down. You'll kind of see what I'm talking about when I make out of steel because it's quite hard to tell when it's cardboard. So I've done quite a bit. I almost got too carried away and forgot to pick up the camera. So I've got the side in, I've folded the center up. So this is all folded up. 
and then goes in and it's all the same as the sides. What I've done is I've marked out where the number plate goes. So basically, I went with this angle here and from here to here and here to here is the same. So this is on an angle. So what my plan is is to recess the number plate back but I'm going to cut it straight here and on an angle here and then the angle will sort of join up so it should look pretty normal and this is the number plate although I am getting personalized plates but it'll be the same size and this is the number plate fitting up in there so I'm going to chop, I'm going to chop this part here out and then I'm going to start making the angle where it recesses in so I cut the hole out and then I've just sort of taped this in to see what it's going to look like um, so what I'm going to do is this angle here I'm going to make go all the way down the same so it brings this part down and then I'll angle these sides in and then I'll just have to cut this a little bit lower which I'm just deciding if to go all the way to this line here or if I go up a wee bit because I'm kind of I'm still questioning if to buy a slim number plate a regular number plate or a regular number plate with text down the bottom and put my website so I'm not too sure so I'm kind of yeah not sure, too sure how to, big to do my number plate area. So I've got this cut out and as I was saying I want this angle to stay the same but I want the number plate to square up where the number plate is again. So I've cut this wee piece here and then that should it's a bit hard to tell when it's cardboard because it's so floppy but I'll cut it in steel and then that should square up again when it comes in. Right guys, so I've cut the whole thing out. I've just taped, uh, taped the number plate in where I think it's going to go, like roughly. So what I need to do now is make the back part so this will come up and then fold and come forward because I've just vice gripped a piece of plate in behind there because this is actually stops here and this is when it was bent down. So now it's going to go all the way and then come down. So you probably get the idea now. I'm going to just um, measure this up, make this bit that folds, and then weld that in also. So after thinking about it, what I'm actually going to do is just cut this on an angle here, same angle as this, and then make a hold the whole piece up, so this whole top piece, and then this piece. So then all I've got to do is weld along there, down there, and along there where previously I was just thinking of adding on and going down but then I, this here, if it's not perfect, perfect welded you'll see a wee bump here or a where it changes level and then goes down so I think that would be the best idea because I'll be able to sand up this pretty easily. Alright so I just made this piece here which is folded there, I'll just put the tape that off it's only taped on and then it'll get welded on the ends so right now I'm basically just getting all this area and all these angles right and just meeting up nice and then I can weld it in. I think cutting on an angle like that was a good idea because now it lines up with that angle, it lines up with that angle. This will just keep focus, it lines up with that angle, it lines up with that angle and then on the ends that also angles out. Right, so I've got all this done, all the centre done, there's two little panels in, all the top, everything's all basically tacked up where it needs to go, but this bar is still there where this is, like this uh, piece of RHS, this is getting taken out because it needs to go the shape of this back part. So what I'm doing is, I've got this one, I'm slicing down there, well that's what I've just done and I thought I'd better, um, film something. So basically from here to here is 30 mil. So what I'm going to do is I've cut that 30 mil and then that's going to step up like that and then it's going to go across and then down onto this. So this will be sort of the same as this RHS around here and then I've just got to make like a triangle angled one that meets up to the ends there. Um, I've cut these out like that just so that when I tack that in this wasn't in the way. And the reason I want to use this over just using P90 
panel steel and making and folding it up and making it right which I could do and it would work but I thought I want to use this because it has the exact same radius on here where if I bent it it would be slightly different plus this is three millimeter this is only two millimeter where if I'm like chucking things on the deck it's quite likely that you can dent the sides like it's still very strong two mil but like in the inside plus when I put the inner filler panel it sh it'll just look better I think if it's round and if I was to back into a tree on this edge it's a lot stronger this here and then on the other side I've marked it as well and then I'll cut this and then I'll hopefully that will sort of slot in if my mass is right and then the piece that I cut out the other piece that comes off I'll use them for the sides right so I cut that rear bar out the um, RHS, it's on the ground there. I've made this one. So basically this is gonna go sort of in there. Right guys, so I've done a wee bit now. So what I've done is um, welded along here, not all the way, I've just tacked a few and then just ground it down to kind of see what it look like, because it looked quite weird being blue and then steel and this is what it looks like from the inside. Um, if I was Real switched on with mass, I could have probably cut this pipe, ah, uh, this RHS piece that sort of dropped down lower and then sort of went in the bottom there. But I couldn't be bothered working out all the measurements. So basically, the piece that I cut off here, which I've got an off cut, I'm going to make fit on the bottom of here and then sort of just weld round. This little triangle is a mistake because. I kind of thought that this would sort of go like this and like this, just because that did, but obviously it doesn't, and I kind of forgot. But that's okay. I'm just gonna um, fill in that there. But I think it looks quite good anyway, so that's kind of the angle on the back. So I've decided to cut this top back off, because I don't like the way that this here looks like it comes up and like it gets fatter here, although in my head it looks really good. When I draw it on paper it looks really good, but in person I just don't like it. So what I'm going to do is just make all this a bit different. I'll, sh I'll do it and I'll show you guys. Alright guys, so I've done a wee bit since I pulled the deck off and put it on the ground because I've decided I'm going to lift these trusses. So originally I've always been planning on using some 3 mil checker plate on the deck uh, I've changed my mind. I'm gonna go with wood like sort of make it look like a yacht hopefully um, So I'm gonna have to lower these down Like 19 mil measure them up because my wood is gonna be 19 mil thick So these are gonna I'm also gonna change the location of these because I'm gonna put three instead of four um, This part here I changed a wee bit different and now it tapers to nothing rather than tapers to the box like we talked about before I think it's going to look a lot better. So basically now that I've got the shape, style and everything that I'm after and I'm happy with it, um, I'm going to build majority of the whole thing flat upside down on the floor like this. So just earlier I had it upside down, now I've flipped it up the right way. And I'm just doing these areas. So this is just tacked all the way around there. Um, and then we've got this RHS so it all sort of goes in and then it's got 40 mil from there to there, so that's plenty of room for the top wood. And then this one here, I've just started trimming the bottom of this, and that one will go on the top there. This piece here is just clamped on just to keep everything sort of level and straight. Guys, I haven't picked up the camera in over a week. Um, I'm just editing now and I kind of had to watch it and find out where I was up to. The reason before that is because I basically ripped apart my whole workshop. I've also been trying to finish off this one. Basically if you've watched my videos before you'll know that I had shelving all the way through here. I've since moved all that through to my office so I've got one, two, this is gonna focus. Well I've got four in here anyway so we've got like all the stuff here, more stuff, stainless and everything is organized and out of the way and out of the dust which is much better than when it was in the workshop which then allowed me to have all this space here because all this was taken up by storage. So I've got my desk which is um, where I was just editing my videos just now. Uh, I'm going to build a table here, there's just panel steel sitting on there at the moment and that'll be storage for that too. 
I got my folder, I've got my bender, and then I've got storage for this. I'm still tracking down a rack to store tires on. Basically now I've got all this workspace and I've got somewhere that I can put all my tools. Keep it tidy, this will be on wheels so I can drag this one out. And I've got three vehicles all along here with heaps of room from like here to here. Just sort of cleaning up and sorting out rubbish from tools and stuff like that. Finishing off the last of it. For you guys, I thought I'd better get my laptop, get my camera, and just make a video because I haven't posted a video for two weeks and I apologize. I just want to make this workshop way better for filming and obviously work. They're all ready for, the, for next year, 2024, because I'm going to be doing snorkels next year. So if you want to snorkel, book it in. I haven't touched this for over a week. But either way guys, cheers for watching and I'll see you on the next one.